University of Mississippi Medical Center creating more ventilators to help battle this ongoing COVID-19 outbreak. 16 WAPT's Ross Adams live at UMMC where physicians and scientists are breaking down their plans for the use of those ventilators. Ross. That's right, right now UMC is treating about 20 COVID-19 patients who need ventilators to help them breathe. They say they don't have a shortage, but they wanna be prepared just in case when the state is expected to reach that peak of cases later this month. Right now, as I said, that's why an assistant professor at the teaching hospital created a ventilator using a garden hose, lamp timer, and other products you can find at your local hardware store. Researchers say they've tested the machines in the animal laboratories and in other simulations, and they say these in-house devices will only be used to treat patients in a crisis situation. If you have another option, a commercially available ventilator, that should be used first. But faced with a patient in respiratory distress um, who's, who's likely, likely to die soon, this could be life-saving. Uh... Now the hospital has built about 170 of these ventilators to augment the conventional supply of about 80 to 90. But they will need to get emergency approval from the FDA before doctors here at the hospital will be able to use those patients to help keep them alive. Live at UMC, Ross Adams, 16. WAPT News.